To create the multi-featured models, you need to select other default planes or create new planes to be used as the sketching plane for other features. In this tutorial you will learn to create new planes and usage of default planes. The views and dimensions of the model are shown in this slide. The model comprises of a complex geometry. Create the base feature first and then create the pocket feature on the base feature to get its desired shape. You will create the base feature by extruding the sketch drawn on the YZ plane using the mirror extent option to start a new file in part model. Select the start from the menu bar. Now select mechanical design module. A contextual menu is displayed. Select the part design from it. The new part dialog box is displayed. Enter the name C05TUT1 in the enter part name selection area and choose OK. The part workbench has been displayed. Next choose the sketch button. Select the YZ plane from the geometry area and invoke the sketcher workbench. Draw the sketch of the base feature and then exit the sketcher workbench. Choose the pad button from the sketch based features toolbar. The pad definition dialog box is displayed and select the mirrored extent radio button from the pad definition dialog box. Set the value of the length spinner to 75 and choose the OK button. Next, you need to create the second feature, which is a pocket feature. The sketch of the second feature will be created on the XY plane. Draw the sketch as shown in this slide. Exit the sketcher workbench. Invoke pocket definition dialog box. Select the up to last option from the type drop down list and reverse the direction inside if required. And choose the OK button from the pad definition dialog box. The model after creating the second feature is displayed. To create the third feature you need to create the plane. Choose the plane button. Select the XY plane from the specification tree. The XY plane name is displayed in the reference selection area and set 150 in the offset spinner and choose OK button. Now invoke the sketching environment using the newly created plane as the sketching plane. Draw the sketch as shown. Exit the sketcher workbench. Choose the pad button to invoke the pad definition dialog box. The preview of the pad feature is displayed in the geometry area. Note that the direction of extrusion is not the same as what is required. Therefore, you need to reverse it. Choose the reverse direction button. Select the up to surface option from the type drop down list. and select the surface from the geometry area. Choose the OK button. The model after creating the third feature is displayed. Next, the fourth feature of this model is a groove feature in which you will remove the material from the model by revolving the sketch about an axis. To do so, choose the sketch button. Select the YZ plane from the geometry area and invoke the sketcher workbench. Draw the sketch and exit the sketcher workbench. Choose the Groove button from the Sketch Based Features toolbar. The Groove Definition dialog box is displayed. Select the newly created sketch. If it is not selected by default, the preview of the Groove feature is displayed in the Geometry area. Choose the OK button. The model, after creating the fourth feature, is displayed. Next, you need to create holes by using the Pocket feature. This feature will be created by extruding the sketch drawn on the top planar face of the base feature to remove the material. To do so, choose the sketch button. Select the top planar face of the base feature as the sketching plane and invoke the sketcher workbench. Draw the sketch of the fifth feature in this slide as shown and exit the sketcher workbench. Choose the pocket button from the sketch based features toolbar. Invoke the pocket definition dialog box and select the up to last option from the type drop down list and choose the OK button. The final model after creating the fifth feature is displayed. 